Hi, I'm Amy Davis, news reporter for Future Publishing's photography portfolio, and I'm here today to talk about the Canon PowerShot S95. The high-end S95 camera is aimed squarely at those looking to get a little bit more from a compact without the expense and hassle of upgrading to something bulky. The S95 still fits nicely in a pocket but has all the added bonuses of full manual control, raw shooting and a fast f2.0 lens. It's not equipped with so many external controls as the higher-end G12, but this helps to keep the size down. On the top of the camera you'll find a standard dial for setting the shooting mode, as well as a button which controls the front ring function. The ring around the lens can be used for a variety of functions, with the default setting being aperture control. By using the ring function button, this can be changed to ISO, exposure, manual focus, white balance, zoom and so on. There's no viewfinder on the S95, but with the G12's viewfinder proving to be of little use, it's not really worth worrying about. Anybody familiar with Canon's Ixus or PowerShot range of compacts will be familiar with the buttons and layout on the back of the camera. The menu system can be scrolled through using the wheel on the back of the camera, which also doubles up as a jog dial for changing aperture and shutter speed settings. On the back of the camera you'll also find the 3 inch Pure Color 2G LCD screen, which is large and bright and performs well on sunny days. For a full review of the Canon PowerShot S95, check out techradar.com.